Thanks for visiting us here at Speedway Motors. My name's Tim. I'm one of the techs here, and I'm also building a little Model A Roadster. I'm right in the thick of the brake system. So it's got me thinking about brakes quite a bit, and it made me think about our most commonly asked questions on the tech line. Uh, we get a lot of calls about boosted master cylinders. Guys will get these things all together, and they'll struggle with either front brakes that are locking up, or they'll have a little bit of play in their pedal. They feel like they have to push their pedal down just a tad bit before they feel like it's really engaging the brake system. It's a really common cause for this and I can talk to you about that a little bit right now. I pulled a couple parts just to kind of show you what you'd typically get if you bought a, a boosted setup from us. This is actually a dual booster, 7 inch dual booster and a Corvette style master cylinder. Uh, the master cylinder is pretty straightforward. It's pretty cool. It's got ports on both sides. Really nice for a hot rod application. It also comes with a little spud for a boosted application. So you have to run this if you're going to run a boosted setup. Uh, a lot of guys actually forget that so it's good to, good to know. The most common problem, however, has to do with the booster. Inside this booster, there's a little push tube. This actually pushes against that spud and then into your master cylinder. This is actually adjustable. What most guys don't realize, you know, they bolt this thing all together uh, and this thing's adjusted out a little bit too far from the factory. So it puts a little preload on the master cylinder. It doesn't allow the piston to draw all the way back and then it can cause the front brakes to lock up and other issues. Uh, it's a really tricky thing to get a wrench on. Uh, it's kind of buried down in this hole and it's a pretty small wrench at that. Uh, what I I'll typically tell guys to do is put this on a pedal assembly, have somebody push on the pedal and it'll poke this thing out and you can have somebody put a wrench on it and, and you know get it adjusted to where you want. You can use a little piece of clay on there to make sure you have the right clearance. We like to have a little bit of a gap, sixteenth of an inch is pretty good. Uh, so hopefully that'll help you out. It is a very common call that we get, uh, but if you have any other questions, you know our tech line is always available uh, to walk you through whatever you run, run into with brakes. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, please visit our website, speedwaymotors.com, to check out all of our parts. We've got a lot, large assortment for brakes, pedal assemblies, master cylinders. Always glad to be of help to you if you have any questions.